All right, today we're going to take a look at how to make name tags from uh, spreadsheet data. So if you had, uh, suppose you were running a conference and you wanted to print out name tags for your attendees, or uh, you're a specials teacher and you have 7,000 kids and you want to try and remember their names, but it's an impossible task in the beginning of the year, you might want to print them name tags. Um, here I have a spreadsheet with uh, the student's first name, last name, the, who the teacher is, what grade they're in, and the period. All right. And, um, what we're going to do is we're going to use Autocrat and Google Slides to create these name tags. And if you've tried to do this with Autocrat and a Google Doc, uh, it becomes cumbersome because you need row data. But what happens is when you print these or when you go to make the documents, it puts a name tag on each separate piece of paper. So you'd be printing one piece of paper per name tag, which isn't super efficient. So using Google Slides, we can get around this. So here I have a Google slide. Um, it's just one slide, and I went to file, um, page setup. Get out of here. Okay, file, page setup. And this is a four by four um, slide deck. All right. And you can change that, whatever you want it to be, but I did four by four. All right. In here, I have these merge tags first, last, teacher, grade, and period. And you'll notice these merge tags match first, last, teacher, grade, and period, the column headers in my spreadsheet. Now this is for, uh, let's say this is for an elementary school or a conference. I want to bedazzle this a little bit. Um, I was thinking we can do something like under the sea. So uh, we could do back to the future images, right? The enchanted under the sea dance. And let's add some pictures in here. I like making, uh, just do a line drawing. And this is perfect. I will say as a kid, I never understood the title Back to the Future because uh, I always thought it should be Back to the Back to the Past. And it, then it dawned on me that when they're in the past, they have to come back to the future. So then it, that title totally made sense. Anyway, let's put this one as well. Kids, especially elementary kids, will really understand this reference. Um, and you can make these whatever you want. If you're doing a conference, by the way, and you have an evaluation link, put that on your the name tags, either a QR code, uh, QR code or a shortened URL. Uh, it'll make everyone's life a lot easier. All right. So we have these pictures in here, and you could add whatever you wanted. Uh, I'm sticking with the Back to the Future theme. You could do Little Mermaid if you really wanted to stick with Under the Sea. So now let's get to this spreadsheet. What we're going to do here is going to go to add-ons and Autocrat. If you don't have it, go to get add-ons and install it. We're going to hit launch. And you might have to have some permissions you agree to. Um, just say yes to all of those. Let's start a new job. And let's call this uh, name tags, hit next. And let's see, we wanna pull this template. It's asking where is your template that we're gonna use? We're gonna pull it from our Google Drive. And it's right here, student name tags template. You'll see that is the same title as this document right here. So we're gonna use that. And we're gonna hit next. And now it's fetching the tags from the template. So meaning it's it's looking at this for these double chevrons. Um, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this, but if you want, suppose you pick a font that you, you know, you want to change this font to say freckle face, and all of a sudden the font size is not how big is it, as big as you want it to be or as small. If you have all of this text highlighted and do control shift greater than or less than, you could change the font size of every um, every piece of text in here by increasing it one or one size up or down by using control shift greater than or less than. So you can see this is 35 font and this is 30. Um, if I highlight this all and do control shift greater than, this is now 36 and this is 31. Okay, back to the merge. So this right here is asking which, ner uh, which tab am I using in the spreadsheet to do this merge? I'm using sheet one. That matches this name right here, sheet one. And it kind of found, it found these column headers and said, it looks like in that document that this first is going to match the column header of first over here. 
Um, and so if any of these are misaligned, you would just hit this drop down and change it. But I think, yeah, they all look good. Gonna hit next. And what file name do we want to use? Let's call this student name tags quarter one. And we're gonna make this a Google slide presentation. I don't want multiple slides. I don't want multiple files. I want all of these to occur on one file. I'm gonna hit next. So it's gonna make an individual slide for each student's name. Uh, put it in that folder, that's fine. You can change that folder if you wanted to. And all of this stuff we really don't need. Share the document, it's not necessary. No triggers. I'm just gonna hit save. Now you, you could, if you wanted to, you could give kids editing rights to, to the slide deck afterwards if you wanted them to have to like tweak their, their name tag, but we're not gonna worry about that. All right, I'm gonna hit play, which is gonna run the job. And while that's running, I'm gonna go to my, drop, my Google Drive and I'm gonna navigate to that folder where I save this new document. So this is under random goodies. And student driven name tags and I have a folder in here called student name tags. All right, so the merge finished. All right, and here's this document, student name tags quarter one. And what you should see is, um, so here we have Ariel Steinberger for Mr. Kaufman. Um, she's in grade four and it's period one. All right, and so now we have all of these different slides for each one of those kids, and eventually that Mr. Kaufman will turn to Ms. Garman. All right. Now, printing these, because you don't want to print one piece of paper for each name tag. What you're going to do is go to File, Print Settings and Preview, and I'm going to print six slides per page. All right, and I actually measured this. Um, if you do this with an eight and a half by 11 sheet, uh, these will print out into uh, an exactly three by three square. And just remember when I did the initial template, this was a, and when I went to page setup, I made this four by four. So because it's shrinking them to put them onto this document, these are now three by three. All right, they'll be a little bigger when you cut them out because you'll have little like bigger margins. All right, so now I can get six of these on a sheet and um, you're not wasting as much paper.